I've actually noticed that the rougher the seas are, the more solid the link gets. One of the hallmarks of Point to Point has always been that we can connect in very, very challenging environments. We're 11 miles off on a moving buoy and connecting at 100 megabits full duplex down to an underwater lab called the Aquarius. Aquarius has conducted approximately 120 missions. We conduct eight to nine missions a year. Five or six of those are science missions, and then we have a couple training missions with NASA or the Navy. We also do a lot of education and outreach activities. Here at Aquarius, they have a unique opportunity where they have the scientists down in Aquarius doing the research and the science that's so important for NOAA, the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration. A real component of our education outreach program is to take the science that's being done down here and get that out to the public. Recently we had a point-to-point uh, -point broadcast. The name of the show we saw was If Reefs Could Talk. When we do the broadcasts, the broadcasts are with a direct school where maybe there's a few hundred students, but because we broadcast these over the internet, we know that we are reaching thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people. Some of the most fascinating parts, I think, is just the way that everything works together as an ecosystem. We can do a lot of pre-production type as far as like tours of Aquarius and the habitat. It used to be that Aquarius was a science activity where we write articles or talk about it at um, symposiums. But now with the technology we have and the data links we have from Aquarius through our buoy back to our shore facility, we've been able to take what we do in Aquarius and bring it to the world. We've been running it for just about seven years now and I cannot think of one time the system has been off or down. The reliability of the data link, the reliability of the network is critical to that. The very first thing we had to really address was reliability. And one thing that we bring in our PTP products that really adds reliability is space diversity. When NOAA came to us, they had tried a number of different technologies. They had tried other microwave products, they had tried multi-point products, they had tried cellular-based products, none of which could offer the reliability of our radio and what we can do. Our point-to-point -point radios with MIMO, with adaptive modulation, with intelligent OFDM, with high system gain, all those components really have allowed us to make this link work where they couldn't get anything else to work in the past. I've never seen one timeout in our system throughout any storm that's passed. It, it's never been affected. Having network dropouts and having loss of data would be devastating for us. We had a mission where NASA was here with astronauts in the habitat and they went and they placed a phone call to the International Space Station. So this was the underwater world talking to outer space. The data link between the habitat and the space station went flawlessly. I'm sure they talked about astronaut things, and uh, generally we were just incredibly excited. How often can you say that your office called the International Space Station? I've not seen one data packet lost in any of the transmissions throughout our missions. I mean, anything we do, everything's relying on it. And it's the ability to get that data out real time that really engages the population and engages the scientific community. I just, I love it. I love this stuff. <laughs> I really do. It's made my job really easy.